Hey, what's poppin' you guys? Welcome back to another video. This is Penryn Hall, we are located at tonight. With a history dating as far back as the 14th century and possibly further, the Penryn Old Hall is a location that is shrouded in mystery and teeming with spirits. Stories of murder, dismembered body parts, skeletons and more plague this medieval home. Will we catch a glimpse of the monk who's supposed to walk across the room above the baronial hall? Or will you come face to face with the young girl that was murdered by his sisters for trying to marry outside the Catholic faith? The history surrounding the date of the origin of Penryn Old Hall is up for debate. According to legend, Roderick Molinog, Prince of Wales, grandson of Kualda, the last king of the Britons, built a palace in the early 8th century on the very spot that Penryn Old Hall now stands. It's believed Penryn Old Hall was built sometime in the 1300s as the family of Penryn was mentioned in the records during Edward III's reign. Between 1327 and 1377, in addition, John Leland, King Henry VIII's antiquary, noted the ancient stone house of Plas Penryn. It was originally known in his records in 1549, which adds some credence to the age of the home at that time. Activity in in the area is believed to go back to Roman times with a large number of Roman coins being found nearby in 1873 and 1907 with coins dated to the time of the Roman emperors Constantine and Carovaris. In fact records show that there was an ancient trackway that ran through here which was likely used during the Romans occupation of Wales. They were believed to have been using the trackway to transport copper from the great Orm mines. Can you grab that? Yeah, sure. Penman Old Hall, free house. How's it going, guys? Hi, how's it going? Alright, how are you? Just to give the viewers a little insight on what we're talking about right now. They, they hold the whole portal on like these mirrors. But look at the way there's all portals there. And then there's no, there's not a mirror here. So guys, this piece of evidence is actually incredible. With this lady being out of the blue, complete randomly, just touched on the hand. You can see by her reaction how like crazy this is. She literally jumped. She felt something on her hand. This is absolutely crazy. What could or who could this have been? All the way to the red. Sounds like she's going to go something in the toilet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because the last time I was here, I was in the toilet. This was the first time coming. And on the way out, I thought someone was behind me. Mm. Mm. <laughs> 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 the very light happen on these walls. Mm. Do you have cameras as well? There's a camera over there. In my <laughs> So I didn't think that I was even going to mention this or put this down as a note. Guys, this tapping, you can clearly hear, I can hear it whilst editing the video and the footage itself. This could have been the team, but if it wasn't the team, what the hell? Last time you were in here, you know this? Banging on this. Oh, banging? On this. So when we were in here before, we was footsteps upstairs. So you guys had that last time as well? Yeah. yeah. Maybe try and tell us what your favourite number is. What's your favourite number? Mine's six. You're a fan of me? Are you giving Ellie a fan of me? 
Guys, at this point, Elliot starts feeling back pain. This is mental since after the event ended at 2 a.m., on the way home in the car, Danny actually mentioned that he started to get back pain. So, this is absolutely crazy. When you start to feel pain all of a sudden when investigating, this could be a spirit trying to indicate what they felt when they were dying in a place of where they may have died. Well, we're not leaving the house. Come on. This one clip, I don't know how to explain. I did think at first it could have been one of the guests on the other side of the room and I just can't remember seeing them at the time. But guys, as you can see, there's a white figure that's moving to one side of the room. I don't know whether this was a guest, but I don't remember a guest being there or anybody in person. Oh, thank you very much. That's amazing. Thank you so much. If you make that go off completely, it makes it go crazy. Yeah, I'm so scared. Nah, don't worry about it. It's, it's, it's totally fine. That's actually so weird to go off. Well done. Keep thank going. you very much. Can you take it to the green light? Come on. Keep it. Oh, thank you very me. much. You keep going. Go closer to it. Harder. If you go closer to that red light, all the other lights will come on. So guys, we actually don't own one of these REM pods. I don't own one, Dan doesn't own one, Ellie doesn't own one. This was Kath, she bought this on the night that we went here and it was her first time using it so she doesn't have too much knowledge on how it goes off or any of it. For this REM pod to go off guys, if you don't know, if you're not an investigator, it's very rare for REM pods to go off. The fact that this was going off as crazy as it was on this night and I just seeing it on the footage this is incredible evidence it's not sure yeah well done awesome thank you that's amazing Keep we going. appreciate it it was yeah. harder sounds like it doesn't it harder touch it come on squeeze the antenna harder Right guys, the footage you're about to see, I've actually been crazy on this piece myself. I don't know how to explain this. I don't know how I want to explain this. I don't know if I can explain this. You will see right now on this footage. I don't know what this could have been. Use my energy to make this thing. Ooh, that's a but there is just a little white anomaly that's moving across the floor in different directions and it comes out of the darkness and returns back into the darkness here you go that's probably last order come on this I cannot explain, I've never seen this ever before in my paranormal career over the last five years. At this point, they were all doing table tipping and out of the random, calf just got a pain in her hand. Well, I either flip it or put it back down. Mm. Is that you? Yeah. Yeah. Well, it was just like smacking. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, you have a little break on from your hands. Oh. Is it okay? Is it okay? No, it's not, but it's the hands on the side. Is it painful? Yeah, it's like a sharp pain in the right from the hands. Is that a hole in the too long? I don't know. It is cold. My fingers are cold, but I need another pain. Oh, I'm feeling it. Oh, my hands are cold. 
Could this have been the spirit trying to give her a message personally? Guys, thank you for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed. If you did, scroll down our page right now, smash the like button, give the video a like, hit that subscribe button if you want to see more videos like this on the paranormal and exploring videos. I've got new locations coming and are on the way. Guys, I'm also going to be doing a part two on this and maybe potentially a historic paranormal mystery video. There's lots of history on this place. There's lots more events coming up. So guys, there's a lot more content on this specific civic location itself guys thanks for watching comment your thoughts below and until next time it's been a pleasure filming peace